that's for uh we got uh derpy holy kenobi yeah speaking of let's speaking do of, yeah let's get right into it um see if i put the banner up will it be in the way so we are going to watch the kenobi trailer Perfect. um it works if i do full screen oh yeah it works i'm cool with that um Cool man. Let's uh let's check this out and watch it. Number one on trending on YouTube. It should be. I'm so hyped for this. The fight is done. The, the music. Stay hidden. The key to hunting Jedi is patience. Ah. Jedi cannot help what they are. Their compassion leaves a trail. The Jedi Code is like an itch. He cannot help it. Where is he? That's awesome. I thought that was a super cool little way to do the Disney thing. Um, that is amazing. Mm, Star oh Wars man. is great. And the, you know what? Star Wars was so well written that the characters yeah. still resonate with yeah. everyone. And everyone yeah. wants to know what happened in between everything because it's so well written. And, yeah. you know, they try to try, recapture the, the same feelings you get. It's hard to recapture it. It's when you see Darth Vader. Darth Vader is the bad guy. He is the villain, period. There's no, in every story, there's not a, a villain made better. I mean, yeah, he I is agree. so awesome. He's epic. The swag. Talk about how, how you half machine got swag. I mean, he's just walking <laughs> through. Just, that's what he is. I, that's all James Earl Jones, man. That was all James Earl Jones, I think, you know, because like, yeah, the, the voice, the voice made it complete. Even the, you know, the, the 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 breathing apparatus. I mean, it's just you know you hear it and you know you know it immediately. Yeah, and it's and he's supposed to be in this one. Hayden Christensen um, is a, is they he they already said he's on set. He's been seen. Um, he hasn't been seen in any of the Vader stuff yet. You know, because at this point he is Vader. Um, but oh, I'm I am. So excited about this. So excited. Um, but we got Derpy saying, uh, wait, you haven't watched it out about you. I've seen it a couple dozen times already. I've now, I've now watched this. this is now my fourth time watching it. Fourth time. This yeah. is like legit, probably my like probably my like 12th time. <laughs> you know, I, like right off the bat, I watched it like four times, like back to back to back, just to kind of like catch things. I was slowing things down because I was trying to see do, yeah. do we see Vader? I know we hear him, but do we see him? Uh trying to this, decide, like, you know. He knows where Luke is, how how far, how close, you know, how do how well does he know him? What is he doing in his off time? I'm just looking at all those little things trying to see what this is going to be about. And all I know is it's going to be pretty everything that everyone always had questions about. I feel like all those answers, all those things will be answered. Yeah. I think it's gonna follow the, the comic because there's a comic um of of it, of him kind of like watching and kind of helping out, and then Uncle Owen was like you know, stop it. Like, leave, leave us alone. You're not, you're not getting him. You're not going to train him. You're like, you're not going to know who Luke is like, stop. So 
you know, I feel like it's going to be like that. I, I, I will be surprised if Chris Hansen doesn't show up and they have their fight like in the comics because that was an awesome fight. That's yeah. Good. Yeah. And then, uh, yeah, I, I mean, they already showed him already, you know, with the scar. Yep. It's, <laughs> yeah. It's, so you want to see it. Yeah. And uh, Duel of the Fates, man, like they started off with the, the original music. And then, like, when they showed the, the Lucasfilm with the, and then it dusted away with uh, the Duel of Fates music. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. That was, like you said, yeah, goosebumps. Give you goosebumps. So, yeah, exactly. It's... Yeah. So, my, my favorite things is we get to see Inquisitors. I am so oh. hyped for Inquisitors, dude. Because Inquisitors, Inquisitors are some of the coolest guys. Yeah, I'm I'm assuming that's the uh the grand uh the grand inquisitor. Yeah. I forgot what his yeah. name was. Yeah. Um was it brother? They're all numbered like uh or something like that. But so I don't know if you watched Rebels or not. I've watched it. Couple. Do you think Sarah Michelle Geller makes an appearance? Cuz she is one of the inquisitors. She is one of uh, one of the inquisitors. I think that that's going to be something that's going to be hidden. Honestly, I, I believe that oh. it, that she will be in it, and it's going to be hidden because they don't they don't miss out on these opportunities. Mm. Yeah, I mean, especially like you probably should explain who the inquisitors are. Even though it kind of tells you oh, the, the name, yeah, you, you might want to explain. Um, or is it? Uh, I don't think the the average watcher would know who they are. No, and I I, I think that's fine because I think they're definitely going to explain. So, um, but just for for us, the Inquisitors were kind of they were they were supposed to be Jedi, so they have some connection to the Force, but during the Order sixty six and all that stuff, um. What's his name? The Emperor wind up keeping a few of them mm-hmm. and kind of molding them into these half baked Sith Lords, I think is the best way to describe it. Where they're not, they're not fully really Sith Lords. But... Yeah, they're not really full, but they 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 it's like they're just being tapped into that what they could do. You know, yeah. well they they like well we find out later, you know, I don't if if anybody's seen Rebels, spoilers, the Grand Inquisitor was a Jedi. So, I mean, he he knows that's why probably why he's the grand, he's the main guy because he you probably know, has the most. Well, I, and he also he, he probably gave him a choice. I, that's why I always believe it. They gave him a choice, saying like, mm. you know, either you die here or you, you know, yeah, go to the emperor. Yeah, deal with him. Yeah, so they're not, yeah they're not really like they're not Sith, they're not Jedi. You know they're assassins, as what you know they're like they're little henchmen, but they they are force sensitive. You know they do like it. If it was like fifty years prior, they would legit be all Jedi. You know, like all of them would have been trained. Um, but since you know they kind of they kind of came in um, the fifth years. brother. That's who it is. <laughs> so back here, that's the the fifth bro- brother. What was that cool, like, uh, like ancient, like, uh, Chinese oh, yeah, raiding, kind of the hat? Raiding, the the raiding, raiding hat, the raiding. yeah. Um, raiding. and then, uh, Sarah, uh, Sarah Jessica Park, not Sarah, Jessica oh, Sarah, Mr. Sarah, Mr. Sarah, Mr. Sarah. Sarah. yeah, Buffy, uh, yeah. she Buffy. played the seventh sister, <laughs> yeah, so good call, Buffy, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> which is super cool because she was in it, and then obviously her husband, uh, Freddie Prince Jr., was Kanan. In, in it as well so i liked rebels you know and it and it makes sense that they bring in the inquisitors because they're they're going back to like a sequel to rebels with the ahsoka series so you know, all right. it's, it's all legit it's all gonna be live action my question to you now is will this be better than anything we've seen from star wars in the last two years Ooh. It could be, it could be, really? it could be. They kind of dropped the ball a little bit with Boba Fett, but, but Mandalorian really. He Mandalorian was, was really great. It was and really it really up. great. Yeah, it was really great. I mean, 
I think, like I said, Boba Fett, I remember when we were doing our reviews, I think Boba Fett, the only issue with that was, like, it's a Star Wars show without any, like, force using, you know? And until we got, you know, the, the, the part. <laughs> yeah. Which, I mean, we were saying the first, like, four or five episodes until, you know, we got to where, you know, I don't know if anybody, I, we could probably spoil it at this point. Once we got to uh, see Luke and Grogu, there was, like, nothing. And we always felt like it feels off. I was like, yeah, like no one's no lightsabers, no force stuff flying around and stuff. So in this one, I think it could be. I think it's going to be pretty cool. You know, like him, like Obi-Wan, like wanting to do something, but holding back because he knows he can't expose himself. Yeah, I think that's going to be frustrating for me. What watching and wanting him to do it, but understand that he can't because it's just it's really just him out there in the desert. That's it. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, then Derpy uh, said, most definitely better than the Book of Boba, uh, possibly better than Mando, uh, which I think for me, because Space Jesus himself, Obi-Wan Kenobi. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And I like how they made him look older, too. Like, like he's he's starting to look like, uh, um, I can't he's think of. Though. So now, yeah. He, so he waited long enough that you can just let him naturally look good like look look like he's getting older you don't have to do anything to it yeah. and i don't i have a hard time thinking yeah. about mandalorian because mandalorian had grogu and you know the whole baby yoda phase thing i mean blew up so you know, yeah. kids you see him see grogu and they're like oh i want him and all. it's a different attachment to you know and with kenobi you're not going to have that attachment it's going to mm-hmm. fill in all a lot of those the blanks but it's not going to have the atta- same attachment because he's going to be denied that. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know. I, I think seeing Hayden Christensen coming back is going to be really awesome. Um, supposedly, um, what's his name? Um, Qui-Gon Jinn, uh, Liam Neeson, mm-hmm. is supposed yeah. to have, have a, a cameo or two in there, which would be pretty cool. Um, I, think, I think this one can definitely hit the OG fans. You yeah. know what I mean? And the prequel fans, you know, so it's like, which is good. I mean, like, you you gave us the new stuff, and and the people that like that like that, which is fine. You know, I'm I'm not a big fan of any of it. Um, I'm really not that big of a fan of the prequels either. Um, I'm more OG. Oh, I'm, not, I'm definitely you know? not a fan of the prequels. I mean, but the same the same thing. There's people that are diehard prequel fans. You know, like uh, Star Wars theory. <laughs> Star Wars theory is uh, he loves the prequels. I know, and I'm like, it drives me nuts every time I watch. I'm like, how? Yeah, yeah, I know. But I'm like, uh, well, real quick, uh, Derby said John Williams doing the theme. Just saying, already has the edge. Yeah, yeah. It's gonna pull in that original, those original fans. I think mm-hmm. for sure, for sure. You know, you know, because it's it's getting to that time period. It's, it's post prequels, but it's still pre OG stuff. So it's that nice time frame in between where Mando and Boba is between the new stuff and the OG stuff, you know? So you kind of get both of those worlds. <sighs> yeah. I'm going to appreciate when they have all this stuff out and you can watch it from one point to the other and really appreciate who wrote it better, who did a better job directing it. And I think you'll appreciate, uh, I hate saying four or five and six more, but yeah. <laughs> Four, five, and six. I think you enjoy that more when you have it all laid out and yeah. realize how good they did, how how just insightful he was at the beginning. Yeah, to be able to have yeah. all the story. But we'll see. Yeah, I mean, I still, I, I still watch the originals. If I see them on TV, like you know, New Hope, you know, and you know, Empire or Jedi, I, I put them on, you know. Okay. And what's the best one? I, I really, I everyone always says Empire, but I really like Jedi. I I really, I, I love the kind of Jedi. I guess I do. Yeah, yeah. There's some something about it. It's just the the whole redemption of you know, and then obviously as you learn later, you know, the whole thing with Anakin and stuff like that kind of makes it more, you know, a little bit more meaningful. I mean, also just the father son relationship. Yeah, that that's so huge. And yeah. you know, turn your back on something that had you had hold on you for all those years. Yeah, so that's just me. 
Yeah, and Adepri said, yeah, I enjoyed the prequels because I grew up, or he grew up uh, on them, and but I prefer and appreciate the original trilogy. Yeah, I mean, I think Empire, I, if I'm, you like the prequels or the sequels, you have to appreciate the originals, I think. Um, like, otherwise... Though that's the base of it, you know, of it all. Um, but I, I get the same thing with people who love the sequels, they're the ones growing up on, up on it now, mm-hmm. you know, where, like, you know, like Derpy said, he grew up on the prequels, you know, same thing with Star Wars Theory. You know, I don't know if anybody knows who he is, he's the biggest Star Wars channel on YouTube. Um, but he like loves the prequels, and I, I learned to appreciate them a little bit more after watching them a bunch of times and like. Like like Attack of the Clones, I can't watch. I, that's just that's just garbage. Like without that being said, I can't. I just <laughs> yeah yeah. I just, I'm done. You know, ep- Episode One had Darth Maul, which is like one of the coolest. You know, after Vader, it's Maul for sure. That's not even a question. I agree, hundred yeah. percent. Darth Maul, and he and he kicked people's ass. He had the best lightsaber ever. The best. Yeah. Period. <laughs> He had a really good story. He had a really good story, you know, from the beginning to end. I mean, shit, he had the, he was in charge of Mandalore for a while. He had the Darksaber as well. Darksaber. You yeah. know, so, <laughs> yeah, he had a really cool story. Um, But, uh, well, Derpy's saying Empire. Yeah. Which I, 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 I totally understand. I can't. Empire, and I can't argue with you. I just, I like the redemption story, but I totally understand why Empire is, I mean, because no one knew when he says, Luke, I am your father, and no yeah. one knew that was what's going on. It literally changed everything for everyone. People walked out of the movie theater in shock. People, I've heard stories of people walked out and not say anything for ten minutes before they, they were just soaking it all <laughs> up, you know, before they was said anything. You know, it's just I, I understand why people like Empire, and I like Empire too. Yeah, yeah. I mean, all the all the original trilogy, I for me are still the best um but the the prequels the the revenge of the sith was pretty good it just there's parts of it where i'm like i'm like it doesn't make any sense like it like i just i i don't know like you have to really kind of like push things that like that that shouldn't be you're like okay i guess this is happening you know and it's like but it doesn't make sense because like five minutes earlier the character said something complete opposite I think the so. thing that bothered me about the prequels was that if you knew if this stuff happened before and you knew what happened already with the uh, in all those prequel movies, how would the stuff in, in four, five, and six, New Hope, and you know, Return of how would all that stuff happen? If you knew it's the exact same formula and you didn't, why wouldn't you think the same formula is going to happen again? Yeah, it, it just it seems like you have to suspend belief. And I, yeah. Yeah, it kind of pushed me. And then <laughs> Derpy is like the sequels aren't canon to me at least. And I I I'm there with you. I've I've watched it a bunch of times. Um I really like The Force Awakens. I really I like that. Nine was good and they were going the right direction and they just effed it up. I don't know what <laughs> was to say. I, they- I thought yeah, nine I thought nine was well nine was the last one was uh um uh, oh, right. the last right. Skywalker oh, at 789. Seven. Seven, seven was Force Awakens you know, was the, was really Force, yeah. Force but then you had all the fanboys, you know, because like I, I'm the first to admit, like Star Wars is super toxic fan base, like one of the the most toxic fan base. But all the fanboys were like, "Oh, you're just repeating the original." So what? <laughs> like, like it starts off the same because history repeats itself, and then and then they can go. But then they threw everything out the window and went with uh, yeah, don't even remember seven. Exactly. But, Eight. Exactly what I was saying. Eight was so bad that nine they just tried to please everybody, and mm-hmm. that didn't work. And, and it basically, you just didn't do tell a story. You, they should have went with seven, and they should have stayed with the story, and st- stayed with you know the courage of their conviction, and they would have gave us at least something different by the end of eight and nine. And yeah. I, I hate that they changed the story so many times because they were just too afraid of the, as you said the fanboys. Yeah, yeah, they were they were a. Uh, appeasing i I think like seven they started off they're like they should have just like be quiet we'll we'll get a good story but instead they went from seven and they're like oh the fanboys didn't like it so let's completely change it because they want something completely new and then they went so off script that it sucked so bad and then there was no way nine was going to be good you know and like kylo ren 
had potential to be such a badass, such a badass. Because like, because even like at one point, I remember me and my girlfriend were talking like how whiny he was. Like he was acting like a child and a big baby. I'm like, I'm like, yeah, because so was Luke, so was Anakin. Like, <laughs> like it just runs in the family, <laughs> you know, the Skywalker family. You know, they're they're just whiny kids. You know, um. So, you know, it's same with Ezra. Ezra was a whiny kid at, at a certain point, you know, so, and Ahsoka. I, I think it's just part of becoming a Jedi is you're a whiny brat. Yep. <laughs> but but then they turn it, like, the whole thing is, like, they let's forget the past. Themselves. I think, and they become part of the, the, the character arc and it's a redemption. And we didn't get any of that crap. No. I didn't understand no. half of what was going on. Like, who thought this was a good idea? Yeah. Like, yeah. Supposedly, um, once in JJ Abrams didn't want them to kiss, and and Disney was like, No, they need a kiss because that's what people want. I'm like, that's the only time ever where you're like, you're like, don't kiss, don't kiss, like you're watching the movie. And it was like just it was yeah, oh, it was just so bad. Like Ray should have died. Ray should have died, and then Ben should have and because he would technically be the last Skywalker at that point. Yeah. <laughs> like that would make more sense, but you know, God forbid, like, you know, like the the like that happened, but Ah. Um so anyway, so we got to move on. <laughs> we got a bunch of other stuff. But uh, we got Alyssa in here. Uh what's up my two favorite home girls? What's up? Uh she goes top 3 movie directors of all time. M Night? No, 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 no. No. He had good ones. He had he some good ones. Village. Yeah. Have, you, have you ever sat down and watched The Village and realized oh, yeah. how ridiculous the whole concept was? Uh, it was great until the end. And that's you how know, he always is. Like what the hell are you doing? Yeah, but he but made a uh, sixth sense. The sixth sense was great. Six sense was yeah. great. I even like uh signs into the end. Swing, swing away. All right, whatever. Yeah. <laughs> and signs was, was good. Yeah, you know, but that was pretty cool. All the way to the. But then he did right the last there. Airbender. So ugh. he ruined that. Yeah. I, and I'm I'm a huge fan of the last Airbender. You know, Avatar. He was the Avatar. I, get F Avatar. That was it. He ruined. <laughs> yeah, he, it. Um, yeah. M. Night Shyamalan is just on my hit list. <laughs> yeah. Martin Scorsese, I mean, yeah. And then Michael Bay. Yeah. Michael Bay is... He's Michael Bay. Exactly. You want a bunch of stuff blown up? He's going he's, um, he's to blow up at least four or five. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Uh, the that worst line in cinema is great. Yeah. Oh, that was, that's, yeah. That was terrible. I yeah. mean, you saw it coming. You're like, please don't say it. Please don't, don't say, say it. it. Please don't say it. <sighs> okay. She should have died. She should have died. It would. It makes more sense to the story. And then Kylo would have been the one alive. And then it would be more of a redemption for him because now he's like, oh shit, I did a lot of bad stuff, but now I have to be good not only for my mom and my dad, but also for so, my no, other episode, half. Episode eight, episode, episode eight shouldn't have even happened. And I agree. <laughs> Finn's story made more sense. He should yeah. have been the one. Because he was part of the order, like he was come out of nowhere. That's really coming out of nowhere. That's yeah. where it should have been. Yeah. And you know what? I would have been happy. I would have happened if Ray actually turned. And went oh, to yeah, I mean, I think you could have done a cool story with that. And then you know, Finn, she saw the visions. Yeah, and then with Finn and Ben actually have to go against Ray now. That would that would have been a lot, but you would have had to have set that up like early on in episode eight. For it to be over in episode nine. Yeah, but we knew that he was that she was somebody related to somebody, and we already know what Ben is, who he's related to. And then with her being related to the Emperor, could have just it's in your blood. My biggest issue is it's called the Skywalker saga. And that's wrong. It's the Palpatine, Palpatine saga, because all nine movies revolve around one person. Yep. You know, and how that one person manipulates an, a family. Like, wow. so I was like, it's not, it's not the Skywalker saga. It's you not know, the you entire know. everything. I mean, the Senate. He re, he manipulated everybody in the entire universe, <laughs> and yeah, including and Jedi. Went, and one, yeah. 